Hi, and welcome to QCallback Explained video tutorial. QCallback allows customers to avoid waiting on a busy line and receive a callback from the next available member of the queue. In this tutorial, we will create a brand new queue, assign members to the queue, and demonstrate queue callback feature using PBXware and Glaucom. To start logging to your PBXware, navigate to Queues menu and at the top click on Add Queue. Choose a name and a unique number for your queue. Set the maximum number of callers that are allowed to wait in the queue, as well as the rings to answer. For tutorial purposes, we will set the maximum callers number to 1 and rings to answer to 0. But in your case, these numbers will most likely be different. Ideally, you want to set rings to answer option between 1 to 3 rings. This means caller will hear 1 to 3 rings before entering the queue. Next, click on the Save button to create a queue, and then open Queue Members in Asian window to add some members to the queue. Once done, save the queue settings and under Advanced Options, scroll down to Queue Timers section. Set Activate Callback to Yes. This will activate callbacks for calls that exceed in maximum wait seconds time. For tutorial purposes, we will set Max Wait Seconds field to 10 seconds and click Save to apply the new settings. So to test the new queue, we will use two Glaucom accounts. On the right side, we have our queue, which consists only of one member. And on the left, we have one random caller. Let's call him a customer one. We'll have customer one dial the queue for 10 seconds. Since no one answered his call, after 10 seconds, call is abandoned due to max wait seconds and is marked for callback. As soon as the member of the queue becomes available, the queue will initiate the callback. The call is established as soon as the customer and the member of the queue both have answered the call. Next, inside of PBXware Queue Advanced Options, under Empty Queue section, you can activate callback options for all calls that were abandoned because there were no members logged in the queue. Right across Empty Queue section, under Exit Digits, you can activate another callback option. Set Use Exit Digit to Yes, and under Exit Digit field, enter a number from 0 to 9. When a customer calls in and is placed inside a queue, they can request callback by pressing the exit digit number, in our case 7. Next, we will look at some other queue callback options. These options are not available on multi-tenant version of PBXware. Inside of PBXware, go back to your queue advanced settings, scroll down to queue callback section. The first feature Activate default will mark the call for callback if the call was abandoned because the queue was full. You can control how many callers can be in a queue with queue max caller option. In our case, we have set max caller to 1. Let's see how activate default works. We have a queue with one member on the right and two customers on the left. Customer 1 and 2 call the queue one after another. The first customer will get in the queue, but the customer 2 will be marked for callback due to activate default option and will be asked to leave the number for callback. As soon as the member of the queue becomes available, the queue will initiate a callback. The call is established as soon as the customer and the member of the queue both have answered the call. Next callback option is called Activate for Abandon. Activate for Abandon will mark the call for callback if the call was abandoned before a member of the queue was able to answer it. By activating it, you will also enable editing of minimum talk time seconds option. Entering 15 in this field will activate callback for calls that lasted less than 15 seconds from the time the call was established. For demonstration of the Activate for Abandon option, we will use two Glaucom accounts. On the right we have our queue with one member, and on the left we have a customer 1. When customer 1 makes a call and hangs up before the member of the queue was able to answer it, the call will be marked for callback. The queue will call the customer 1 as soon as one of the members of the queue is available. The call is established as soon as the customer and the member of the queue both have answered the call. If the call is dropped in the first 15 seconds from the time it has been established, it will be marked for callback due to minimum talk time seconds option that we previously set to 15 seconds. As soon as the member of the queue becomes available, the queue will initiate the callback. The call is established as soon as the customer and the member of the queue both have answered the call. 
in order to set how many times Q will try to initiate a callback, you need to edit callback retries. Setting callback retries to 2 and retry timeout to 10 seconds means that the queue will try to call back the caller 2 times with 10 seconds between each try. Announce hold time if set to yes will announce the approximate wait time to the caller. Callback max wait seconds is the time that the system will keep the call that was marked for the callback in the system. For example, if we set max wait seconds to 3600 seconds and a call was marked for a callback at 2 p.m. If by 3 p.m. there are no members of the queue available to answer the call, the system will abandon the callback. If left blank, max wait seconds time is virtually infinite. If you wish for a queue to call the caller after the member of the queue has answered the call, set agent answer option to yes. If set to no, the queue will call the caller first. You can set the acceptable phone number lengths with valid caller lengths. Simply enter the lengths divided with commas. For example, 3,4,5 will not accept numbers whose length is longer than 5 or shorter than 3 characters. If you set the use caller ID only to yes, Q will dial the number the caller used to call the queue. If you want to give an option to the caller to choose the number for callback, set use caller ID only to no. This will also give you some extra IVR option for leaving your phone number for callback. You can set these to your preference or just leave them blank to use the default settings. Thank you for watching this video and if you need more help, be sure to visit Bicom System Wikimedia page.